from a cost standpoint, you got to look at the total cost of ownership when you're going with a platform. Today, we're going to be talking about how to choose the right technology and platform for a subscription based e commerce business. So, as we know, over the past decade, subscription based businesses have been growing and growing. Why? Because this is an opportunity for a lot of business to increase their monthly recurring revenue. So it is a phenomenal business strategy and a great business model. However, technology has not caught up to it just yet. Right. So what I mean by that is the platforms that are out there and the solutions that are out there are not built to accommodate these types of businesses. So what are some of the options for these online e-commerce subscription based models? to move forward and successfully scale their business online? Well, there are different considerations when you look at a subscription-based e-commerce business. And by the way, before I go into those considerations, um, any e-commerce business, as a matter of fact, any small business or medium-sized business should look at, you know, you might be selling, let's say, one product for $200, but what are you going to sell next to that customer? Because new acquisition of a customer is extremely yeah. expensive. So if you don't have some sort of subscription, some sort of cross sell, you're going to be in big trouble. Yeah. And Amazon's doing a great job of this already, right? With the subscribe and save. So it's typically a product that people would just go on and buy, but now I can save 15% if I just have it on recurring uh, payment, yep. right? So any e-commerce store could incorporate this model into yeah. their existing platform, yeah. into their existing business. But their product line needs to support that. Of course. Right? If yeah. you, let's say you're selling cat food or you're uh, selling absolutely. dog food. Well, right? in that case, it's a necessity in my yeah. opinion. It, it, it's perfect. But then the operation also matters. The platform that you choose has to support your operation. If you're selling, let's say you're selling dog food on a monthly basis, right? Yeah. Um, so let's divide it into different categories. Let's say operation, let's say structure and technology, and then let's talk about also the conversion and the marketing side of things. At the operations level, we would need to know, or you need to know what your inventory management system is, how you fulfill these products. Are you using a third-party logistics system? Do you have a warehouse? How do you do the pick and pack? Uh, can you order subscription-based products at any point or are you shipping on a specific day on a monthly basis? These are the operational uh, details that we need to know to suggest the platform. Now, at the structure level, you have different options for platforms, right? You could go with a big commerce. However, big commerce doesn't, doesn't support, support subscription yeah. uh, products. Uh, you have Volusion. Volusion has subscription products, not orders. Mm -hmm. And Shopify has both subscription products products and subscription orders, right? Is it a, so can I go to your site? And the example I always give is a meal delivery because we've done advanced meal delivery systems before. There are a lot of exceptions for meal delivery. Like you got to have your allergy allergies. You got to take it, take out the allergies, take out the dislikes. Yeah. You can ship it once a week. You can ship Twice it once a week, every two weeks. Or, or even select days of the week. Days of the week. You can pause it for a week. So it's actually meal delivery is probably the, one of the most complex subscription-based models that there there is. So the platform really depends on if you're going to have one product subscription or maybe less than five, then I would recommend just so you can have uh, custom flows, I would recommend something like a WooCommerce WordPress, unless you're doing $20 million. Absolutely. Then I wouldn't put you on WooCommerce yeah. WordPress. But if you're starting out, or if you're doing less than three, four million dollars, I would say WooCommerce WordPress. Now, if you have over 100, 200 SKUs, let's say, you know, let's say you're selling some sort of detergent and you have 100 different types of variations, then I might recommend a big commerce or a Shopify. If you do big commerce, you're going to need something like a bold commerce. You're going to need an additional tool or a Chargeify or, yeah. uh, or Chargebee, something that actually can manage these subscriptions, right? Because big commerce doesn't do it out of the box. Now, on the marketing side, it depends on what kind of product you're selling. Right. If you're just selling a very basic, let's say, detergent, I'll give that example. One product you select how often you want it. Check out. There's an or there's an automized token that's built mm -hmm. and that's it. However, if you have a customizable subscription box, if you have four different types of options and if you can choose the ingredients like a meal delivery, then the flow in the beginning needs to be a lot more advanced because 
not only can you do your primary call to action, which is the subscription, but you want to grab as many emails as possible. You want to create a step-by-step -step experience and find out where people are dropping in those steps. So as you can see, it can be pretty complex. Absolutely. I, I, so I want to go back actually, because you mentioned Shopify, big commerce. These are hosted solutions that are very, very popular. However, big commerce doesn't have a native subscription uh, reorder solution. You're saying big uh, Shopify does. However, there are also tons of apps within the app stores that I see that that users are going with, mm -hmm. that these business owners are going with. Recharge, for example, I was looking at this one subscription based model that's an, an application for Shopify. Not only are you going to get hit with the transaction fees, the processing fees on Shopify, but now this application was now on top charging 1.5 plus 30 percent or it was 0.5 plus 30 percent per transaction. Yeah. Right. So at what point does a business say, I'm going to go with this solution, letting them continue to take a cut of my of my profits? Or do I invest in building my own custom application built specifically for me by another agency that now I will probably, you know, obviously I won't I might not see a return for another year or two. But again, it's a scalable solution that after that. I will then continue to grow and I don't have to continue giving these other businesses a cut of my profit. Yeah. Well, you know, SaaS business, we love SaaS business. We have our own tools with SaaS. But when SaaS software, or where, when these apps directly contribute to your operations and they are running their operations, for me at least as an e-commerce business, not an uh, e-commerce business owner, not an agency owner, I, I don't like paying forever for something. You know, so if I unless it provides incredible amount of value, right? Like Netflix, I will pay forever because there's a ton of content. It's the, the price is right, you know. Yeah. But I always give like a it's not related, but like a search and filter functionality. For example, you're going to pay five hundred dollars a month forever for that functionality. So when you're looking at these tools, if you're doing ten million dollars and you got to give one percent, that's one hundred thousand dollars. Well, for one hundred thousand dollars. You can get something custom and it will freaking work. Exactly. Right? Yeah. But if you're doing half a million dollars, five, one person of half a million dollars is five thousand dollars. You're like, you know what? I'm starting out. Let me look at my options, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, uh, and it happens. There are sometimes these apps that you buy on Shopify. And, you know, Shopify. We like Shopify. There's a good um, kind of community around Shopify with a lot of different apps and options. But sometimes companies stop supporting these apps and from a cost standpoint you got to look at the total cost of ownership when you're going with a platform you know hosted solutions make sense sometimes open source makes sense sometimes i would say the direct answer to your question on average is if you're a subscription-based business doing over four million dollars i think you should start investing in your own technology investing in your own flows investing in your own step-by-step uh, -step subscription processes that also feed into your Klaviyo or automated e email nurture, right? I think it's time over that amount. If you're doing a few million dollars, one to a million dollars, yeah, go with a Shopify, yeah. go with a big commerce plus bold commerce, yeah. you know, that will work for you. Yeah. All right. Well, there you have it. Let us know if you have any questions. We'll talk to you guys next week.